Okay, let's take a look. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> okay, this is Operation Get the Goat Back in the Fence. Alright, friends, we're gonna have a quick story time. <laughs> Can I help you guys? It doesn't matter if it's almost 100 degrees outside because I'm heading towards air conditioning. Woo! I just went on through. Now I'm looking for the open field parking area. Oh my gosh, look at some of these properties on the way. So that's the tree house. Kids zip line. Property map. Okay, I'm still following it through to parking. I'm loving the tree house. I might have to put that on the return list. A little cabin on the lake. This was another top contender. Look, it's got a little swing. All right, Fred, chill. How cute is that? Oh my God. Well, hi there, little friend. Look, it's a little cow buddy. We see some adorable ponies up ahead near the main farmhouse. I think that's where the restroom is, one of those two big houses there. Oh, I think I see my property, yay! Oh, I'm so excited right now, you guys have no idea. Welcome y'all, stay left, all parking, guest house, 1.2 in second house. Tiny cabins and cottages ahead. Hi there, pretty baby. Oh, do you hear the little goats? Caution, I bite. Sunny and beauty. Hi, little goat friends. Are you the cutest? Look at them. And look at, that's Zippy, I think. Welcome. Stay left. All parking. Okay, that's the event area and the guest apartments for the main house. Oh, I see a sign for restroom and shower. We'll check that out later. Okay, here's parking. And then that says petting area, which is near where I'm... So oh, I see the Wanda. That's right, I invited Kim from Out on a Limb with Kim. She has an awesome place. She's going to be staying as well. You guys, my camp buddy is already here waiting for me. Look! Ah! Okay, you guys are doing the big reveal with me. Let's check this out and say hi to Zippy. This is the Blue Door Hobbit house. And this is my buddy. Hi there friends and adventurers, Heather here from Heather's Hikes and Adventures and I am in Ocala, Florida at a property called Enchanted Oaks Farms. It's a really unique, really cool little Airbnb that's on a farm. It's got a petting farm and some really cool little properties. So I am going to do a separate video where I tour the grounds and kind of show you the different properties available and give you a more in-depth tour of one of the vintage campers. 
and um, kind of a closer look at my place. But for now, um, as you saw by the title and thumbnail, I have some really cool camping buddies with me for this glamping experience, and I have been taking advantage. I've made great friends with my little farm friends so far, although I've not seen all of them. There's still some cows and horses, so we are definitely going to go meet them in a little bit. I brought carrots and apples, and um, I may have already gone through a bag of carrots, so I have to pace myself because I only have one bag left. <laughs> but. Aside from that, uh, we're going to do a little cooking, a little relaxing. I've got my work set up because I've got free Wi-Fi here, and then I'll show you around a little bit. So let's see what's going on. Hi. Are you going to be my friend? I brought you some carrots and apples. That's where Kim is going to be staying in one of those adorable little vintage campers. And then these are going to be my neighbors, but I don't know if anybody's actually renting in one of those. And then these are my little friends that are going to be my neighbors. One, two, three, and four. Wait till you see my place. Well, I haven't seen it yet, but wait until we see it. All right, let's take a look. Oh, first, I forgot I came prepared. Nothing but the best organic whole carrots, baby. Oh my goodness. Hi. I brought you some treats. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, it's so cute. Well, the AC works really good. I can feel the cool air. So we've got a little lamp, the bed, and then you're so beautiful. Okay, let me get you something too. some very adorable camp mates. I don't know their names yet. Hi. <laughs> All right, I'm going over to visit Kim for a minute. Okay, this is her tiny blue vintage camper. Isn't it adorable? Looks like she's gonna have some lights and a little fire pit. There's a picnic table and a little seating area. Hi, neighbor. Oh my God, hi, Heather. How do you like your place? Is it adorable? Yes. I haven't looked yet. It really is cute. Oh, I love the little. I know. Oh. It's, it's like, I just love the vintage. Are you going to give me my kitty fix while I'm here? I hope my kitties don't see this video. You're so pretty. I had to kindly escort my new friend out. <laughs>
even have a house cat for the day. sure I've just been summoned. I just heard a whinny outside my window. Hi Zippy, were you were you calling me? Hello? I'll be out in a minute. Hi friends. No, you can't come back in right now. to say, huh? Huh, interesting. I'm telling you, ingenuity, baby. Okay, somehow these goats have figured out how to escape today. One of the guys that works here, yeah, I think this one was tattling. This goat right here, I can't tell if it's the same goat or a different goat that escaped a minute ago. And I'm not strong enough to pick these suckers up, they're heavy. I don't know how they keep getting out. And this assistant is no help whatsoever. So now I have to figure out how to capture this goat and get it back over there. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is operation get the goat back in the fence. I'm trying to lure it with an apple. No, 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 come back, come back. It wants the landscaping because it's easier. Okay, so an update. I have the kitty on guard duty. Mama goat's on this side and the youngsters are trying to figure out how to get to her. And she's too heavy for me to get out, or get back in, I should say. Plus, she's having too much fun eating grass and plants. So I went ahead and sent a message to the Airbnb hostess, the owner, and told her what was going on. So hopefully she checks the messages, and I don't know if there's someone on property that can get her back in. I just... I don't want anything to happen to her. Like, I don't want her to find a way to wander. I don't know if that's all gated in, if she's safe, and I don't want anything to happen to her, and I don't want the youngsters to find a way out trying to get to her like that one is. So I don't know what to do. I'll update you guys if I have an update. Oh, the kitty's gonna come on a tour with me. I've got my cut up apples and carrots. 
pulled out the pot. I'm going to make some dinner in a minute, but I want to go feed the ponies real quick. I think Kim's turned in for the evening. I'm going to do an official tour in the morning, but for now I wanted to just kind of check out the other animals over here in the petting area. <clears throat> So that's one of the rentals, and then I believe the bathroom is right there, and then that's the event space. I think that might be the owner's home. It's a private residence, I believe. Look at these trees with the Spanish moss here, so pretty. These will all be turned on soon. Oh, there's the pony. Hi, baby. <laughs> I figured out a way to trick the bigger pony into letting me feed the smaller ones so that it wasn't getting bullied as much. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Mimi. You're very demanding. Check out this guy over here. trying to videotape the little baby. Hi, friend. Hey, Zippy Doo. Sure hope the little ones haven't escaped. Nope, there's one. I know, baby. I don't know how to get your mommy back over. I'm sorry. I tried. Oh, I think it's crying.
Okay, well that finishes. I'm gonna go run and pee real quick. Oh gosh, I don't wanna look at the kitty right now. All right, let's see what the bathrooms are like. Okay. We've got... All right, friends, we're gonna have a quick story time. I know the fan's kind of loud, but this AC is no joke. I'm eating my dinner right now. <laughs> I am so stressed out. You guys don't even know. Okay, so the mom goat escaped again, and I was trying to figure out how to lure it back to the gate so that I could push it back in the way I saw the staff guy do it. And he was like, oh, this has never happened before. Well, I call baloney because that mama goat was right back out again <laughs> so anyways i finally called in reinforcements i called kim because okay this is when i lost it i called her in tears because one of the mama goat's babies was trying to figure out how to get to the mom and shoved its head through the fence and then only got it part way through and when it was pulling it back out the fence line got between its little horns and it was legitimately stuck with its head mostly sticking out of the fence. So then the mom goat started panicking on the wrong side of the fence where I was and they were crying to each other and yelling and I was so stressed out. That's when I called Kim in tears like, please come help. <laughs> So she came rushing over. Thank God she was here. She's the goat whisperer. Somehow she got the mom to listen to her and follow her over there eventually. I somehow managed to like bend the fence enough while the baby goat was turning its head. And then I was able to kind of guide and push the horns to where it would, could fit back through. So I hope it wasn't hurt. It looks okay, but it was definitely spooked. It was running around and crying and mom was still trying to get to it. We were able to get it back inside. I opened the gate, Kim pushed her in. <laughs> they were reunited. So hopefully that's the end of the drama. And then as we were walking back, my cat buddy, caught a rat or a mouse from a couple doors down and proceeded to take it to the field and eat it right for, like 20 yards from where I was cooking dinner. This dinner. Thank God it was dark enough to where I couldn't see a thing. I'm glad the mouse is, you know, not in here, but oh my God. I did not sign up for all this excitement. I thought I was coming for a relaxing night on the farm with some cool animals. And I forgot my fork, so. But now I want to keep this bright ass light on all night because I don't want any mice to find their way in here somehow. So something tells me I'm not going to be sleeping. But my kitty buddy is laying down for a after dinner nap on the bench out there so hopefully he'll stick around and make sure that nothing finds its way in here oh gosh what a night okay i think i'm finally starting to calm down a little bit <laughs> and we're going to relax with an orange blossom pilsner it's made with There we go. It's brewed with real Florida orange blossom. Or brewed in Florida with real orange blossom honey. Let's see how it tastes. I've had this a really long time ago, but I do not remember. I remember liking it, but I don't remember what it tastes like. nice and light. Maybe it'll help me de-stress a little bit more.
place them right outside the door. That way, they don't have to go inside that room. Also, around the same time, Rena, who normally would only leave her bedroom to go to so they kept buying them, and what they would do is they would come back home with these bottles, and Takahiro would barely open Rena's door, and he would tuck the bottle. Skinny arm, reach out from behind the door, and grab the bag, and pull the bag back into the room. <laughs> Good morning, friends. You guys have heard about the roosters crowing at sunrise. Apparently the goats ba at sunrise, too. Check this out. Good morning. Enjoying my first cup of morning coffee, so I want to give Zippy a carrot, but I also don't want goats in my bed this morning. Let's see. Nope. Yep, they're here. Can I help you guys? You can see from my window, that's the main farmhouse over there, and then that little sign there on the fence is uh, the sign marking where the showers and the restrooms are. There's an outdoor shower, and then right around that little fence line, there's two toilet little restroom areas. Alright, let's step outside with my morning coffee and see if my buddy's still out here. There he is. Hello, little professional mouser. You did a very good job last night and I appreciate you keeping me safe. Even if I did find it slightly repulsive, but you're very handsome. I wonder how Kim slept last night way over there. Hopefully her night was uneventful and peaceful as well. Well, you know, after the eventfulness. <laughs> I just noticed all that firewood there. I could have definitely put it in mine and made a fire last night. Oh well. Sad I didn't bring food right now. The cows are not being harassed by the bully pony. I think I'm gonna go back and get them. I think I could make this little baby's friend. You're so pretty. Are you the cutest little baby? Hello, sir. Are you Richard or Drake? Don't spit on me. You're so cute. You might need a dentist, though. 
Right, back to home sweet home. I'm gonna get Tara loaded back up and ready to go and then I'll probably have one more cup of coffee. All right, friends, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me on this super cool, unique Airbnb experience. And I hope you enjoyed my new best friends as much as I did. Minus, you know, one or two hiccups along the way. <laughs> As always, I want to thank you so much for watching. It really means a lot to me. If you're not already subscribed, maybe consider doing so. I am taking you around to all kinds of cool places like this, as well as my traditional car camping and van life content. And I have some really cool places and beautiful scenery coming up as well. So again, thank you so much and I will see you all very soon. Bye for now. Goodbye, Sir Reginald. You were a very good kitty. And if that name offends you, I'm sorry. I had to make one up. Goodbye, Zippy. Goodbye, you naughty little precocious goats. See you again. <laughs>